Hello everyone and welcome in Elden Ring. Decided to record this game and the reason why I waited so long to do it is because at first this game was unplayable. I mean seriously, the stuttering, the crashes, the low frame rate on PC, it was literally unplayable. Then when they fixed most of the issue, the game was incredibly unbalanced. Technically it still is, but it's better than before. So now as they nerf mo most of the things, including the bleed, let's play the new game. I already will tell you I downloaded couple mods just to make this let's play a little bit more entertaining. And the first one, which is cool, yeah, is the one which replacing Astrologer with Rani. So yeah, we're gonna play as the Rani the Witch, because why not? Nah, why not? As always, Kib Sake is the Golden Seed. Or actually Stone Sword Key would be better. I don't know, I feel like from all of those only three are good. The Fanged Imp Ashes, just because those guys building bleed. You know, the, the heavy bleed build up on attacks. Although now, as they nerfed bleed, I think they are trash. So let's just choose Golden Seed instead. And let's just watch the intro. It's been so, so long since I actually watched this, so yeah. Let's just watch it. is nowhere to be found. And in the night of the Black Knives, Godwin the Golden was first to perish. Soon, Maricus' offspring, demigods all, claimed the shards of the Elden Ring. mad taint of their newfound strength triggered the shattering a war from which no lord arose a war leading to abandonment by the greater will. Oh, rise now, ye tarnished, ye dead who yet live. The call of long lost grace speaks to us all. of the Badlands, the ever-brilliant Gold Mask. Fear, the deathbed companion, the loathsome Dung Eater, and Sir Gideon Ogmir, the All-Knowing. Yes, and here is where the game starts. 
Mm-hmm. And one other, whom grace would again bless. A tarnished of no renown. Cross the fog to the lands between to stand before the Elden Ring and become the Elden Lord. Don't worry, I'm on my way to do it. It will only take over 100 episodes just to get there. But anyway, I downloaded also couple mods like the the Rani mod is the uh, is not only the one I downloaded. There is also couple that slightly changing the gameplay, like the one which makes the upgrading weapon a little bit cheaper, but I don't want to use it to get like quickly one weapon to plus 25. I want to use it to upgrade multiple weapons to have some variety, you know? So, uh, so yeah, to reduce amount of farming all those stones, uh, I'm gonna use this mod. Mmm, and that's pretty much it. I guess the last mod which is worth to mention is the different loading screen. The loading screen are now pretty much the fan art of Rani, but before you say something or before you're gonna laugh, let me say to you, no, those fan arts are not created by the Furies who's jerking off to the comic port because they cannot find the real woman in the real life. But actually by, you know, the, the people with decent amount of brain cells and decent IQ. So yeah, they are cool to look at, so it's nice to see them on loading screen. In my personal opinion, besides it's my let's play so I can record and put to the game whatever mod I want. Hmm. Don't worry, Torrent. Fortune is on her side. We found her here after all. One of her kind is sure to seek the Elden Ring. Even if it does violate the Golden Order. So this game is similar to Sekiro pretty much with this opening, you know, how at the beginning you die by the fierce boss and you're waking up in totally different place, mmm, and game poorly trying to explain why that happens, you know. So yeah, they reused the same idea they already did before. Uh, and I'm not really a fan of this. I think in Dark Souls it, too, it was a little bit way more consistent. You know, you're waking up from your grave. And from your game, you're actually progressing forward. You know, there is no any weird teleport where you're dying and waking up somewhere else. You know, it, it kind of was in cinematic Dark Souls 2 opening, but it wasn't in Dark Souls 3. So I don't know why they brought this, this back. 
But anyway, let's just finish the, the tutorial area, the Cave of Knowledge. I believe this is how this place is called. And, and yeah. And I think I'm gonna finish the episode on getting my horse, you know. It's gonna be a quick one. It's gonna be a quick one or not, depend how long it will take me to get there. But I have to go somewhere, so yeah. I'm gonna just tell you the next episode is gonna be way longer than this. Mm. And if you, dear viewer, don't like mods I downloaded, uh, or Sophie, like you don't like my commentary, uh, you don't have to watch it. And the reason why I make this, like, uh, why I mention about this, is because my friend said I can record Let's Play from this game. Just because I finished game like five times and I know everything, I cannot make the let's play. It's not gonna be let's play, it's gonna be a guide. But no, the guide is giving the strategy how to overcome the challenges game has. And I don't really know if there is strategy to beat like late game bosses other than, you know, the, the cheese strategy. But I'm not fan of cheesing, so yeah, I think I can record Let's Play and the fact I finished the game couple times doesn't exactly change that, you know? So yeah, let's just quickly fight, uh, let's just quickly kill the Soldier of Godric. Mm-hmm. So all what you have to do is just this and the repost. There we go. So it was nice to see you, bro. Yeah, and we have 400 from this guy. So th they are speaking of me giving people strategy i guess that, that there is like strategy where you if you're going for the arcana build with blood loss i don't know how good it is now but i'm gonna check it uh, eventually but if you're going for the bleed build uh it's better for you to choose the stone key as the starting gift and then quickly like rush for the second stone key to unlock this gate because behind this gate there is a tough enemy which drops the, the best seal for the arcana builds. So yeah. I don't remember how this seal exactly calls, but it is absolutely the best seal for arcana build because it scales. Uh, because upgraded it scales with the, with the arcana. It has S scaling from arcana. Mm, and I believe some decent scaling from Faith. I, I'm not sure about this, but for sure it has a scaling from Arcana. So yeah, I'm not gonna go for bleed build. I'm mostly gonna try to focus on magic. But don't worry, I'm not gonna spam the moon moon veil. You know, like the scraps of Ted likes to do. Mostly I just wanna go with the yeah. Mostly I just wanna play with the Ash of War, which is the sorcery related. Mm, and some regular weapon, you know. I don't necessarily want to use the strongest weapon for sorcery. So yeah, I, I think I still can have fun on the decent balanced level without being too OP. Uh, so let me quickly get back. Let me quickly get back. Let me quickly get my horse. Uh, and I think this is gonna be end of the the episode. Man, I'm gonna also like explore the camp. Uh, the the camp or the ruins. How this place goes exactly? Where you getting the horse? Gonna see in a second, but I'm gonna explore this place. Gonna pick the loot here and there, and I'm gonna finish the video. 
The beginning is always boring, like in the most game, because it's mostly about long, e long introduction, like very long cutscene at the beginning. Yeah, and the second episode and the episode further on are way more entertaining, so, yeah. At the beginning you literally cannot expect much action unless you play in the games like Devil May Cry, because games like those always start from you fighting with billion enemies after like very edgy cutscene. But this is this ain't Devil May Cry at all, this is just the Souls game. And Souls games always starting slow, and how the hell did I miss with this? I don't even know. Anyway, yeah, gate front ruins. So we're gonna explore this place. Mhm. Mm kind of don't like how weak I am currently, but I'm gonna try to pick like most of the things I need from over here, including the sword. And uh, the mm, the thing which allow me to use the Ash of War on my weapon. So yeah, I think it was somewhere over there behind those knights. Oh, okay, that was lucky. Actually, I need to yeah put my my stuff to my other hand. Knife. Uh, so problem is gonna be with the tougher knight. Yeah, the knight with shield over there. If I can not aggro him and kind of like explore this area, you know, without him chasing me, that would be nice. Okay. Ready? Let's just quickly heal for the safety. Also, the problem with using the retexture on armor is... Can I get here? Yeah. Unspotted. The problem with using retexture on armor is... You are bounded to use only one specific armor for the, for the entire let's play. Uh, so yeah, we have the Whitstone knife, which allow me to... Mm-hmm. Put the Ash of War on my weapon. And to be honest, I don't want to fight with you guys. I'm just gonna get the map fragment. I don't want to die. My health is like very low at the beginning. So I'm just be on my way. Yeah, have a good one. So let me also quickly pick up this sword. And I guess in the next episode, I'm gonna start from exploring the cave, where is the Beast of Farum Azula. So let's just watch this last cutscene in this video, and it's gonna be it. Greetings, traveller from beyond the fog. I am Melina. I offer you an accord. Have you heard of the Finger Maidens? They serve the Two Fingers, offering guidance and aid to the Tarnished. But you, I am afraid, are maidenless. I can play the role of Maiden.
turning runes into strength to aid you in your search for the Elden Ring. You need only take me with you to the foot of the Erd Tree. Sure, but from this cutscene it looks like you can teleport, so why you cannot go there without me exactly? I do not know. But sure. Summon me by grace to turn runes into strength. Ah, another matter. I bequeath to you this ring. Spectral Steed Whistle, great. So it is a ring or whistle, actually? Use it to traverse great distances. It will summon a spectral steed named Torrent. Torrent has chosen you. Treat him with respect. Yes, treat him with respect. So this is it, pretty much. Now we can start the proper game. You know, it kind of sucks like every time you have to like run to this specific grace and rest here just to get your horse. I mean, at the beginning if you, and by at the beginning I mean the first time if you play without any guide, without any wiki, without being guided by the audience like, uh, like the streamers do, you know. People like streaming the game when they play in first time just to be handholded by audience nowadays. But if you play just to have fun, like solo, without recording video, without streaming, without any guide and everything, how the hell you supposed to know you have to get to this specific grace and rest here? I do not know. But anyway, this is gonna be it in this episode. It's the beginning of the new series, which will take me probably like a couple months to finish. But I'm gonna try to upload my video daily. So thank you for watching this and see you in the next one. Take care.